framing because I just don't like it all to be like one length when you're curly you have curly hair face framing definitely makes the look really 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 pop so I'm gonna do some light face framing the hair has dried my curls are defined all we use was our fingers and some product so I'm just deciding where I want my fight and I can't talk where I want my face framing to actually start so usually I think I kind of start usually right here. Most times when people cut and they do face framing, they do start um, most times at the nose, actually literally at this angle. And then they may bring it out a little bit and then, you know, cut. But you always want to go into down, downward motion. This is curly hair, so you want to definitely not necessarily cut exactly where it's curly at you might want to do like a light little tug because of course it's going to spring back and if you pull it down too far not pull it down too far but don't pull it down enough and then you're cutting like right here when it's spring back up it's going to be like right here you're going to be like oh my gosh i did not want a short base so i want it to fall right here yeah right there so i'm going to snug and i'm actually going to start down here you're just going to be light with it Yeah. See, it looks more natural. I just dust this off in the front. And now I'm gonna bring this up. We're just literally doing like this, pretty much. This hair, and it might connect to like right here. You're not grabbing no hair from the sides or anything like that. Just the front when your face right me. So I see that is literally in its curly state right here by my nose. Most times, I've learned in hair school, you can, of course, pull it down, bring it together, and create a guide for yourself. There you go. So now, they're both right here at the nose. Now, with that hair that we've created as our guide, we're going to tug down, and we're going to cut lightly downward motion very very light your your scissors should not be closing completely and then i just have some just an extra little fuzzy fuzz right here that i can just snip off just to give it some more shape this is adorable oh my gosh i like this a lot oh my gosh i love it love it like a whole bunch. Ooh, I'm about to be cute, y'all. I'm going to the studio tonight. I'm so excited. Oh, this is adorable. I am not in the mood to put on any type of makeup, like whatsoever. Um, this is definitely giving me a wash and go type of vibe. You know, sometimes you just want to let your skin breathe and, you know, just take care of your, you know, somebody who actually has this hair, you know, or just any texture hair. You just want to let your hair be. This is definitely the vibe that I'm feeling and that I'm going for. I just arched my brows just a little bit. Most times I get them waxed so that it's like really, really defined. 
But yeah, I'm digging it. This is a really cute little wig, little V part. It's cute.